Thanks, everybody. I'd like to start off by giving him the finger. See, I don't have one. That was the joke. That's called a callback, okay? Keep up. Hello, my name is Raymond Modlin. First one on the ballot. Go ahead and mark it now. I'll wait. I am 50, which does make me the oldest of any of them coming to stage. All right, so I would like to tell all the young comedians that are coming up, they're going to tell you about how they are getting older. I would just like to say to them, fuck you. <laughs> Take that in the kind, sincere manner in which I intended it, please, all right? I grew up in a little bitty city outside of Indianapolis. There was about 12,000 people. We had one minority. One. Johnny Running Bear, all right? He was Indian, for those of you that don't want to profile, I'll help you out. He was Indian, feather, not dot, all right? Buffalo, not sacred cow. Peace pipe, not hookah pipe. Are we clear? Because I could do this all night, all right? We used to hang out and we'd like go to the arcade when we were younger, after school we'd go out to the arcade. You guys ever remember that game, Dance Dance Revolution? Man, he loved that game. He would be out there playing, you know, he'd be out there doing all that dancing. He never could beat it, but it would rain for like three days afterwards. I'm going to take you with me to the next show. I am 50 years old. In my 50 years, I've managed to accumulate six children. Five house payments, four student loans, three wives, two ulcers. And I'm kind of waiting on that one big heart attack to wrap this whole thing up in a nice bow. Because that's where I'm headed. Like I did say, I do have six children. You know, you find something you're good at, you stick with it. And I'm not really good at it. Okay? Keep that in mind. I love my kids, but they fucking drive me nuts. All right? You know what I mean? Um, for instance, they will go to school, and I think school is kind of making them kind of sissified. You know, they learn a word like self-respect or dignity, and all of a sudden they can't take a punch anymore. It's just... I just don't get it. Matter of fact, the other day, there's four of them that still live at the house, and I called them in the kitchen. I'm like, hey, look, due to an economic downturn, i got to let one of you go. All right? The 18-year-old immediately goes, seniority. So I turn to the 8-year-old, and I go, sorry, dude, you're out. Sean's like, damn. Little bastard hired an attorney. So, now, women, I love women. I love all kinds of women, short women, tall women, skinny women. Fat women, ugly women, love ugly women. Don't laugh, man. Ugly women play in the dark, okay? Because in the dark, it all becomes a question of who washed. That's it. That's the only question. You can easily turn a four into a ten with some imagination and a light switch. All right? Now, unfortunately, the other night, I was with this chick that was so ugly, even I pretended I was someone else. Oh, come on, that was a good one. That's the one I thought would really go over, and it didn't. So I do like that. And ladies, let me tell you a little bit of secret. I'm going to go against the man code and tell you guys some secrets, all right? First secret is we can see through those stretch yoga pants, all right? And we thank you. All right? I saw a pair of white stretch yoga pants that were stretched so tight the other day I could tell the dude's religion. Oh, wait, sorry, that's a bad example. No, never mind. Wrong one, wrong one. Second secret is, and ladies, you may not know this, men, we grade you. Did you know that? Scale of one to ten, kind of like beef. One, ten. Of course, it's an eleven if you swallow. So, that adds up. I think that's a joke, don't you? So, we do grade you, and unfortunately, I know it's rude, but don't hate me. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. It's not us. Got a buddy of mine that says, hey, Raymond, I only date tens. And I'm constantly thinking in the back of my head, you pussy. <laughs> Anybody would date a ten. It's not hard to date a ten, right? You'd date a ten, wouldn't you? See? Anybody can date a ten. If you don't believe me, ladies, guys, by a round of applause, who would date a ten in here? <laughs> I forgot I was in Bloomington. <laughs> ladies, by a round of applause, who would date a ten? See? Just shot the shit out of the rest of this whole routine, but uh, now we know where we're at. 
A ten's real easy to go out with. The problem with tens is they're really high maintenance. You know, talk to me, buy me stuff, tell me I'm pretty. You know, all kinds of things like that. A four, that's another case. It takes a seriously committed man to plow through a four. All right, you know what I mean? Plus a ten, if a guy does a ten, by the time he's actually can do a ten, I can plow through three fours, which puts me two points ahead, and still be at home in time for Sports Center. All right? Fours are also cheaper when you go on a date. Can you imagine a four saying, Honey, will you buy me a bottle of Cristal? No? What do you think you are, a ten? Drink your Thunderbird and let's go. Sports Center's on in 45 minutes. Thanks, that's my time. Raymond Mogman, number one.